So you guys may already know, you probably already heard this from all of everyone, the market is super slow. What can you do about it? I got a couple of tips and tricks on how to navigate this market and hopefully get you in the right position where you can get an interview and increase your chances and odds going forward. First tip is get referrals. Now, how can you get referrals? Of course, you gotta use your network. If you don't have LinkedIn by now, that's a really good start. Set up your LinkedIn and so you can build your network, understand where all these people are coming from, understanding particular companies that you wanna go for, within your network, contact them and ask, can you set me up with a referral? I think that's a really big point. That's one of the things I've been telling a lot of people in this particular market. Referrals are just like golden. It pretty much puts you ahead above everyone else who, who just submitting their resume, who has no connection to the company at all. I actually really haven't really used this tip yet, but I've seen a lot of people who use this tip that I, I tell them to use it and they've been getting a lot of you know, interviews and offers going towards their way. Number two, I would say content creation. One of the things I, I kind of like preface this as well is that, you know, I, I started doing content probably like three or four years ago, I started this YouTube channel. And one of the biggest things that really helped me out was just sharing my story and so on. So as you're building your skill set and create some content, put some stuff on regards to your journey, where you're building and where you're going through as far as how you're building your skills, you know, being kind of like very positive in the sense of, hey, I know this market is slow, but I'm still learning. I'm still trying to build stuff and I'm just like putting it out there so other people can can see. I feel like I, I've gained a lot of traction with just like networking and stuff, so on, you know, getting in contact with other people by having this content creation system that's going on and like through the content, people contacting me so that we can collaborate. Not only that, it's just like it just opens up your network for more opportunities and increasing your chance for more opportunities. So definitely either create a YouTube channel, create an Instagram where you do reels or shorts and stuff on. All right. And number three, I mean, if you can't find a job, create your own job. Content creation is one. But other stuff is like build your own apps. One of the things I kind of like said at the very beginning of my whole entire like YouTube channel, I really, really started building stuff for free for people and also had contracts in between just finding like tech hubs needed some help. So I was like, you know, sat down, got a contract where I did a particular task. And once I completed that task, got some money for it. But that was like building my skill set up when I was doing that, even though the contracts were far in between. I had a really big contract for like six months. That just like changed my whole trajectory of like, yo, I can actually take this software stuff full time, even though I didn't get like a software degree. I have a mechanical engineering degree that can like take me further and say, hey, I just look at everything as a tool and, and these tools can solve these problems. Pretty much that's the gist of all what I've learned over this past decade uh, doing software, but just like overall professionally. But going back to the topic of creating your own job. So one of the things I've definitely done and I've been doing even now recently, just kind of like circling back to it, is creating my own apps and getting paid from those apps. This could be like, you know, the deal analysis out that I created it. I got like three sales from that, even though I'm still in the red for it, but it's like trickling in little by little. Still got to learn the marketing side of it and still doing the marketing side. That's one thing you can do. You can talk in regards to that. That's adding more stuff to your portfolio when you create your own job saying, hey, actually build an app, learn how to market it out, design it out, and particularly touch on a problem that people are having and now I mean, getting more and more attraction. The other app I put out for free was the personal app. So like these are like one of the things that is like a combination of all my skills, just putting together of things, even though they're very like I feel like for me, I feel like they're very simple, but it really exemplifies exactly what I've learned over the couple of decades. I found a problem, not probably not just a problem of my own, but other people as well. And I'm marketing it out people and people are getting a lot of feedback saying, I need that, I need that. I'm here to provide the tools to solve that problem. That's that's pretty much what entrepreneurship is. Those are the tips I will say for those who are coming out of undergrad, you know, do these things, you know, referrals and um, creating your own apps and also content creation. This is just going to continue to build your skill sets and continue to push you forward while you're still waiting on those opportunities. I mean, I'll say one thing too, is like uh, maybe a bonus one. Don't rely if, you, if you're still waiting on a particular job in a particular field. One thing I did for sure, I have a mechanical engineering degree. I was doing everything possible to do a mechanical engineering job after I graduated. But 
I didn't get uh, the job that I wanted or it didn't work out for me. Instead of doing that, I went to trucking and did trucking instead and I got my CDLs. So I got another skill set, even though I was still wanting to do mechanical engineering, but I was like, I'm not gonna wait for mechanical engineering. I'm not gonna wait two or three years just sitting down saying, mechanical engineer is gonna come to me. I'm gonna do something I really wanna learn was during that time was doing software and do this other thing I wanna do as well as traveling. Yeah, just keep that in mind. Just like if your plan A doesn't work, there's a plan B or something that you ultimately love. Hey, do it. I don't go down a, a regular path. I have never went down a regular path in my whole entire life. So yeah, hopefully that helps. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.